So the other day I did a live stream for the first time in months and of course it was lagging. I was going to end the stream but you guys like the angels you are told me to keep going and you would just listen to what I had to say. So in this live stream I discussed my thoughts on year 2 volume 9.5 of Classroom of the Elite and I also gave my predictions for year 2 volume 10. And along the lines of this discussion I dropped a bomb on my chat which was that I have started to ship a certain character with Ayana Koji. Which came as a surprise to them because up until this point I had always stated that I do not engage in shipping. The most I would ever do is think, hmm, this girl might look good with the main character and that's it. I don't post about it on Twitter, I don't make a fan account, I don't make fan art, and I don't go on Reddit and make threads about this ship. I just think they would look good together and that's it. But in this stream, I was a completely different person. I was on a whole different level of passionate just to get my chat to support this ship. The person who I ship Ayana Koji with is Fuka Kiryuin. Listen, after reading Year 2 Volume 9.5, I came to love the dynamic between these two and couldn't help but think they would make a good couple and if not a couple, they would make really good friends. So now that you have some context, here is the clip from the live stream. Enjoy. I can't imagine any of these girls genuinely making Ayana Koji fall in love, right? The only girl I could genuinely imagine Ayana Koji falling in love with at this point would be maybe Kiryuin. And I know that sounds crazy, but listen, bro. Out of every girl that Ayana Koji has met thus far, Kiryuin is literally the most compatible in regards to like mindset and the way they live their life. Did you read Year 2 Volume 9.5? By the way, I, I didn't mention this at the start, but I think I ship... <laughs> I'm not a shipper. I've never been involved in the shipping community, but after Year 2 Volume 9.5... I think I ship Ayana Koji with Kiryuin. Listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out. They are literally like the perfect couple, if you think about it in, in retrospect. They're both from like um, well-off families. They have similar mindsets of how they want to live their life in regard to freedom. They don't want to utilize their, they don't want to utilize their advantages to their advantage. They don't want to use their names or be burdened by their the expectations of other people. They just want to live their lives, right? I feel like I feel like if Ayana Koji graduates and meets Kiryuin out um in the in in the real world, if he ever did, which he won't, but if he ever did, I feel like they would get along very well. High key, bro. I feel like they would be a good couple. Am I Am I missing or am I spitting right now? You're saying Kiryuin because you self-insert yourself. Am I? Nah, not really, to be honest. I just really like the dynamic between her and Ayana Koji, if I'm being honest. Maybe they might not be a couple, but I feel like they would make very good friends. They have a very, you know, water and I... They have, they have a fire and water dynamic, so I feel like they'd make a good couple. And if they don't get up, if they don't be a couple, they would make good friends. Am I wrong for assuming that? Bro has been on Reddit too much. <laughs> Yo, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I have been on the classroom of the elite Reddit a bit too much recently. I'm going to stop, bro. I'm going to stop. The fact that she said, that's what I'm saying, bro. Kiryuin literally said she wants to repeat a year just to be with Ayana Koji. Which girl in this- No, no, I'm getting past- I'm getting heated. I'm getting heated. Which girl in the series do you know would repeat a year to be with Ayana Koji? She would go out of her way to sacrifice her future just to be with this man. If that- if she- if that doesn't make her the perfect- Yo, chat, chat. Chat, stop, bro. Stop. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm getting too. I'm getting too, too heated. She's literally the only girl who would repeat a year to stay with Ayana Koji. That is commitment. That is dedication. Kiryuin is literally the perfect waifu. She's top tier. She's number one. She's top three, and she's not three or two. Chat, listen. Chat, you you need to see the vision. And I'm not going to stop talking until you guys see the vision. Listen, chat. Listen. 
Kitty Ween. She even fought with Ayana. Yo! She even fought with Ayana Koji on the uninhabited island exam against Tsukishiro. Which other girl in the series do you know fought with Ayana Koji? Which girl do you know went out of her way to fight for Ayana Koji to help him? She fought for him? She wants to repeat a year just to stay with him? And do you think she's not the perfect girl to be with Ayana Koji? Chat, chat, come on chat, open your eyes chat. Open your eyes and realize that Kiriwin is the end game. She's the end girl. Kinugasa has been hiding it in plain sight. It's not Horikita, Ichinose, Kushina, Sakenagi, none of those little girls. Ayana Koji needs a woman. That's what y'all are missing, bro. Kiriwin is not like these other girls, bro. She is a woman. <laughs> Matter of fact, she's not even just a woman, she's a mommy. And if y'all are not if y'all don't think Ayana Koji could <clears throat> if y'all are not thinking Ayana Koji and her wouldn't work, bro, y'all y'all are not reading this series right. Y'all are not reading this series correctly. Hinugasa has been putting the signs in front of her. In front of us. Come on, chat. Listen, listen. <clears throat> You're making me <laughs> You're making me lose my voice. Oh my god. Yo. Unfortunately, I don't think Kiryuin will have, you know, that much of an impact in the future. I would love for her to know, you know, have one more final hurrah before she graduates because currently there doesn't seem to be a way for her to repeat. So I think she's just going to have one final, one final, you know, impactful moment. And then Kinugasa is going to send her off, <clears throat> I think. You've never heard me so... <laughs> PKPK PK says he's never heard me so invested. I've never been so invested. I'm just realizing how good of a ship it is. Matter of fact, look out for the next video I make. If, if the, the next video or the next or the one after it is going to be about Ayano Fuka. I'm going to spearhead this ship. As a matter of fact, I might just start writing a fan fiction about them too. I've never written fan fiction, but Kitty Ween might make me do it. I'm not gonna lie, that's how much I genuinely believe that this ship needs to happen. They're way too perfect for each other. Bro is more in <laughs> Bro is more interested in this ship than the main <laughs> Bro is more interested in this ship than the main plot. I'm not gonna lie. If Kinugasa wants to introduce all these women for a harem, if he's gonna do a harem anyways. You might as well ship somebody, if any, and if you're gonna ship somebody, Kiriwin is literally the only choice. She's literally the best choice. How do you look at Kiriwin and everything she's done up to now and pick Horikita? Horiki Horikita is just ungrateful. She treats Ayana Koji like he's he's her dog. He, he, she's ungrateful, she doesn't appreciate him, and you know, she just doesn't deserve him. Horikita. Next, we have Kushina. Kushina is a bipolar narcissist. Wh what kind of girl would you ship with the main character? You know, just get Kushina out of here. Then you have Sakayanagi. Sakayanagi is condescending. She's short. Wow. <laughs> Next, you have um, K, the parasite, the social parasite. She literally can't do anything without Ayana Koji. If we're gonna ship somebody with Ayana Koji, we need a strong, independent woman. A strong, independent woman is what we need. Horikita is dependent on Ayana Koji. Um, Kushida is dependent on... No, she's not. But she's... Well, Kushida. Um, <laughs> K is dependent. Horikita is dependent. Sakayanagi is just... No. Who else is there that fits the criteria? You cursed all the girls. The guys who watch Classroom of the Elite for the fan service will hate you. Listen, bro. When Kiryuin gets animated in season, is it four? I don't know, bro. Whenever Kiryuin gets animated, hell will freeze upside down. I will flip this fandom over because no one will be screaming louder than me. I swear to God, nobody will be screaming louder than me when Kiryuin gets animated. Bet money.